to your best health. Health is uh, important to us all and something maybe we need, all need a little bit of help with. Uh, and uh, all the best to everyone who's uh, going to participate in the program. What we want for each and every one of us and each and every one wants for each other is health and wellness. And that's something that is priceless in our world. So we're giving you three years, and don't make me look bad. <laughs>
Is there a reason that I'm doing this? Well, let me do a reassessment and see how have you changed. Has your wellness quotient gone up? Have you gotten stronger? Have you noticed any changes in your measurements? Are your, is your blood pressure better? Your heart rate better? Any of these sort of things that show improvement from the point of view of health and wellness from ourselves. So we do a reassessment. So when the coaches do the assessment, they'll ask the client over 100 questions. Uh, also when they're doing the coaching sessions, any topic that's covered is recorded. Then the file comes back to me and I enter it all into the computer for tracking and come up with stats, results, uh, things for the report. There was a software package purchased for this, at this project and it's supported by a company called uh, Creating Wellness. In the first year there were a lot of challenges I'll say. Uh, when it comes to our, I guess, relationship with the creating wellness. Uh, the challenges we face with the reporting system. Because we had been looking at this funding for quite some time, we were looking at it type thing, and the creating wellness program had ran separately at Tabletop Chiropractic. From that, we were doing our assessments and never had any issues. When we first start getting funding, when we, our funding came in to do the program, our Dodge Gig Center, what ended up happening was we had contacted Creating Wellness to let them know about this and there was going to be a bigger demand type thing and we would just to give them a heads up. When we did our first assessment, what ended up happening when we tried to hit the button to generate the report, computer error. So I contacted the IT specialist at Creating Wellness. He said it was an issue with myself letting my computer update. So he made a compromise. He said, okay, well what we can do is when you, he said, all the reports are on our computer here, on our supercomputer in New Jersey, on our servers. I'm like, okay, what I'll do is when you're done with them, you request them to me, email me them, and I'll have them to you within 24 hours. I'm like, okay, I guess this is not ideal because I'm trying to get assessments done to give people results as they come in. It's end up being, let's get their assessments done and get them in for their results then later. 24 hours was a, was a generous estimate from him. We were left at times days, weeks waiting for results, which, were, which then caused big issues with our program because we were trying to get people assessed and moved into basically coming in to see us, which then took a long time because of the delay in getting our, our reports to us. We did get our reports from everybody, took a while, took some time, and it was a little bit difficult to get type thing, but we did get them. So what, that was one aspect of it. So we had, weren't, weren't great and we were doing it and I hoped that he would fix it in the meantime. And we were told when we had started the program uh, back in February, March, and we were bringing in clients in April, that what would happen would be that they were gonna be upgrading their software to be more compatible with the newer operating systems and much more functional. So we said, okay, we'll accept this for now as long as you can continue to give us our results. So when it came time to do our reassessments, when I had contacted them to let them know, because I was, um, I guess, less than pleased with the way that our first set of assessments came with, came with the results coming so sporadically and so inconsistent from what they had told us they would do, was we did the trial run with our coordinator of our program. With that, when I had called, let him know we were doing our reassessments, oh great, I'll have the results with you in 24 hours right away. He had informed me that there was a program he needed to put on my computer to protect this information, because this is sensitive health information. And I'm like, 100% understandable, yes. And the results came that day. We did the assessment in the morning, in the afternoon, the results were there. Excellent. We were so pleased and I was really excited about this, because things were finally looking forward to being what I wanted them to do. So then we started to assess clients. And the next person we assessed was three days later. So I said, okay, well, I'll ask for their results. And I never got anything. Okay, well, let me wait. This is a Wednesday. So we're two days later, Monday, Wednesday. So then I say, okay, well, I got a few more today and a couple more tomorrow and then Friday. So I'll ask them for these group on Friday. So I asked for them on Friday in the morning and never got any response from my email. Okay. I asked again later that day if he had gotten the email. No response. Nothing came over the weekend. Monday, nothing. Email them again. Called them. And then there was no response. No reply. No reply. No reply. And the Creating Wellness Company is, is not continuing to provide support for this software. So the analysis that we were going to do was going to be done through this software. And that's not happening. Creating Wellness is closed. We were left with, what do we do now? Because now we're scrambling. 
comfortable creating Walnuts is closed and nobody else is using it, what are you doing with this system? We're looking for new investors type thing to help us with this program. So I had suggested, as this is a nonprofit organization, which we have funding from the Public Health Agency of Canada for three years to run this program, that you would donate this program to us or let us use it in a way that can be functional for us. Those emails went unanswered. And then we had to kind of take over from this end, take over and come up with one on our own, figure it out ourselves. So uh, Stuart manages the getting the results and we came up with a template to fill everything in so that there was kind of, I guess, continuity with the, from the first assessment going to the second and the third. So what ended up happening was that in asking a few individuals who knew about computers, they had given me a couple of ideas. I tried to figure some things out. And my program right now is not working, so I need to figure out how to get this to work. We were able to generate our own report. So from that, what ended up happening was our coordinator came up with a template for us to put into a Word document so that it looked like a nice generated report, which was what the Creating Wellness Report originally looked like. Very nice. And so we did it for ourselves and then made it for our Dodger Gang Center. Instead of it being Creating Wellness, now it's Dodger Gang Center. So that's a challenge, but at the same time, in Canada, there's been a lot of work um, with Aboriginal group, or Aboriginal groups are beginning to demand that they hold their own data, that they don't want to see research and whatnot done by others or external people that then control the data afterwards. So oftentimes uh, Aboriginal groups are entering into agreements with universities or other researchers where they continue to hold and possess uh, that, uh, say they contr control, own, and possess. It's often called the OCAP principle. And uh, they uh, hold on to that material. So now, with the problems we're having with uh, the Creating Wellness, Flat Bay Band is ending up having to create their own database they will own that database at the end of it. Although it was a hurdle, it's one of those hurdles that has flipped around as probably having been a positive thing. In the interview process, two people really stood out for us. So for us, the first individual we hired to see Apprentice was somebody who we saw as, for lack of a better word, a poster woman for the program. She was a lady who had gotten unhealthy with her work, focused too much on it, got really involved with the stress of it. Ended up happening when she had gotten overweight. She realized what was going on and then she said, okay, well, I'm gonna make some big lifestyle changes. And she did. And then she did really well type thing and dealt with all aspects of it. So it was really wonderful. But unfortunately, as we said, she hadn't been in the workforce for a while. So when she came into this, it was a big change because of course, with everything moving at such a fast pace, she hadn't been used to it. And she had become, it was a little bit too much for her to handle. And she made a very honorable decision. And as she said, she really wanted this program to work. No matter who the apprentice was, that's what she wanted type thing. So she had come out and said that she didn't feel she was that person at the time. And I thought that was a very honorable, very courageous thing for her to do. So then what ended up happening was the next apprentice, the person who was interviewed as well, was, was the person who we would contact and bring them into the program. Through the course of the next few months, she had gotten slowly a little bit unhealthy for herself. And it came to a point where she was missing work and unable to attend and we needed her to be here for the work that she had to do. So unfortunately she had to leave the program, at which point we were left without an apprentice. One of the challenges was following up with participants that are in the project. And while they were short on staff, they were having difficulty following up. So the initial assessment would take place, and then in between, it's the coaching that takes place. And so that was a tough without the staff person there to do that. We had some turmoil. We were our clients hadn't had contact with some of with our coaching for some time. Some of our clients had no contact that I was aware of. Luckily enough, what had happened was that Tabletop Chiropractic's owner, <clears throat> I guess, had hired a new person into his office. As he openly admitted, he didn't really have the ability to hire her because he had two workers already and, the, he, and that was what he could afford type thing. But she was got such a good worker, had a background in working in a, in a medical office and um, was a very caring, charismatic, wonderful, fine individual 
that he had to hire her, as he said. But the, the, the girls at the office were kind of almost in each other's way at time because there wasn't enough work for the three of them. It so happened that I never thought to ask if that would be somebody who could come in as our apprentice, but because it was a ta because Tabletop was who the apprentice worked for and they worked for Tabletop, it was very interesting that the same day, both the chief, both the chief of the band as well as Dr. McNeil from Tabletop suggested that this lady should come in. Her name is Shelley White. Shelley White came into the program and in all honesty saved it. And then Shelley came along and Shelley has been wonderful. And uh, when I did focus group um, interviews, the focus group just talked so much about all of the staff, but they really talked uh, quite a bit about Shelley. Shelley came in, had a great attitude, enthusiastic to learn. There was a lot for her to do, but she was gonna give it her best try. I came in later than the other staff, so I do have some challenges. I didn't get the um, 12 week, I believe, I may uh, coaching not sessions. Do exactly like they ask, but I'm doing the best I can. So, right away, I let her know what we needed to move forward. She started contacting people, getting in contact with them regularly, calling them, emailing them, Facebooking them, any way she could get in contact with people to show that there's people here who care and we want you to get healthy and well. What ended up then with Shelley, of course, is that she was great because she, uh, in, in her background of working at a doctor's office, knows that maybe I got to call this person five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, some people 20 times, even more for Shelley, before they got back to her. Because of the medical experience that I have, where I have worked with a medical doctor for 28 years, so I'm putting my experience into play as I'm working with the clients. So her enthusiasm, her tenacity, her hard work ethic were, was evident right from the get-go, which was great for me, because that left me able time to go into that computer at, at days at a time to figure this information out, to pull this information out of there, to get this program moving forward with our assessments and our results for ourselves. She has a wonderful, wonderful demeanor, always happy, always a smile on her face. Great, so encouraging, so realistic though as well, because so much is okay, yeah, you can be encouraging as a coach to some point, but there's some points where we have to be realist. As well as honest as coaches, so that, yeah, well, I want to lose 100 pounds in three months. Um, I'm sorry, that's not going to be healthy if you lose too quick, pounds it comes back, even as easy type thing, right? So for her, she did a great job. She was wonderful. And as I had said to my previous two apprentices, is that I will be really proud when my clients who are coming to see me ask if they can go to see you guys. And so I had clients then who were, yes, coming to see me, but asking how Shelly was doing. So I said, if you want to see Shelly, you can. Well, I'd like to see her on the way out anyway. Or I'd like to see her when I come in the next time. Now people are telling me Shelly's there and Shelly's calling them all the time. And instead of them going to the office, Shelly is also doing it by telephone. So Shelly, instead of asking, calling and asking them to come in, Shelly will talk to them on the phone. And so people are saying they see Shelly's name come up on the phone at this point, and they don't answer the phone. <laughs> and they wait until they get out for their exercise, and then they come back in and they telephone Shelly and say, I see that you've called me on the phone. And Shelly said, yes, I just wanted to follow up. And have you done your exercises? And, yes, Shelly, I was out for my, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, there's a good rapport with the staff and the participants, um, and things at this point are going really well. So again, although it was a hurdle, it's one of those hurdles that has flipped around as probably having been a positive thing. Everyday things, lots of challenges, uh, health issues within our own family that, of course, change your, you know, state of mind and things that that happen in your everyday life. You need a balance, a healthy balance in your life, and it's hard to find a balance. Life happens, you know, things come up in your life, and it's nice to be able to connect to ways to be able to work through any challenges that arise. There were a lot of different ideas that uh, were brought to me, given to me by Stuart, actually, to help get through some of those My difficult times. My goals within the program is to maintain 
a healthy lifestyle uh, to help with the family history of diabetes and uh, heart disease that we have and to try and achieve uh, a wellness that um, I can see as I'm getting older is harder to achieve. So with this program, it, it kind of gives you an outlet to be able to move forward in a um, holistic way, to be able to uh, get the uh, proper nutrients that you should be getting and, and the exercise and the different things that goes with the program. The first one I'll have you do is you'll have grab your hands facing forward, bend your knees a little, strong to your core, lower back, using just your arms, lift. I guess the biggest challenge I had working towards my goal would be finding time for myself to be actually doing the program. I'm very involved with a lot of things in the community and outside the community. So finding time, making time for myself and making it realize that that's what I need. The action plan changes each week or each month as, as I basically need it uh, and as they're fine tuning the program for to fit me, which is, uh, why this program is so uh, good, I would say. But, you know, you started off with, you know, okay, I want to lose a few pounds or I wanted to stay fit to, I want to feel well versus all of that, to combining all of it together. She said her feet used to always crack, so she started putting coconut oil on her feet. One of the things is that coconut is really good with, it's good for the skin. skin. So hair people put nails. it on the skin, hair, nails, exactly. Well, certainly a lot more knowledgeable about my health right now, being able to realize some of the numbers. And uh, of course, I didn't weigh myself and measure myself and all the program that all the things that's involved with that program. So now that I know the, the stats I have for myself has kind of given me a baseline to be able to work with and another goal for future, right? My personal goals would be just to get in better shape. Definitely that was the main one and just take better care of myself like building muscle, stuff like that. Coming in, I kind of had an idea what I wanted to do. It was just getting the courage, I'll say, motivation to do it. <laughs> so it was just after my first assessment, I had a exercise program kind of done up online and I've been following it ever since. I'm, I'm not as tired anymore. I have more energy. Uh, I'm eating better. And uh, probably in the best shape I've been in my life <laughs> all around, so way better about my health. Some of the people that have learned, of course, about their diet and eating right will continue to live that lifestyle. So some of these things are hopefully are very self-sustaining at the end of the day and uh, participants take responsibility for their own health, which is, we're, we're seeing that, we're seeing it happen already. The other might be that other communities look at this project and say, wow, that's interesting. So it took two, three years to get it well established and underway and people are taking responsibility themselves and setting up their own walking groups, etc. So we might see it start to spin off and other communities start to take the model and start to run with the model. We might also see uh, public health agencies that are interested in public health looking at it and saying, you know what, in small areas like this area, um, this is a project that works. We want to see it implemented. We would like to see it funded. Maybe they'll come to Flat Bay Band and say, let's see how this is done and can you assist us? Can you help us to promote and to get this kind of program happening into the future? From an evaluator's perspective is that they're doing an incredible job of recording the data, finding out what's happening with the project with the intent, if it works, letting other people and other communities know about that. And so at the end of the day, if we have something that's working well, and this is uh, rural Canada, these are small communities, these are people that are enthusiastic about the project, and it's something that, it's through coaching, it's through encouragement, and there's, so far, the stats are showing that there's great success with this. I wanted to see us be able to incorporate our whole traditional life the way that we live, but just, you know, put some changes to it to have a healthier life. And the healthier and the more vibrant you are on this path, then the more we all gain. When you look around today and you look at yourselves, this really is a, a society 
ushering out of disease to create at ease societies. And you look at yourself and you are it. It's not somebody down the road, it's not somebody across the world or the, the globe, it's you. The second year of the program, I hope that we will have a larger amount of people. When we were at the awards ceremony um, the past weekend, there was a lot of clients there that had friends that they brought with them and they wanted to join because once they've seen how well the program has went, they said, I'd like to be part of this. I'd like to make a difference in my life. And now the word is getting out and more people do want to join. I look forward to what's new, what's, what's going to be new with the program.